Once upon a time, there was a little girl who lived in a village near the forest. Whenever she went out, the little girl wore a red riding cloak. So everyone in the village called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood asked her mother, Mother, can I go visit Grandma? That's a good idea, my dear. So they packed a nice basket for Little Red Riding Hood to take to her grandmother. When the basket was ready, the little girl put on her red cloak and kissed her mother goodbye. Remember, go straight to Grandma's house. Don't play along the way. And please don't talk to strangers. The woods are very dangerous. Don't worry, Mommy. I'll be careful. But when Little Red Riding Hood noticed some lovely flowers in the woods, she forgot all about her promise to her mother. Oh, what beautiful flowers. I'll pick some for my grandma. It's such a beautiful day. Suddenly, a wolf appeared beside her. What are you doing out here, little girl? I'm on my way to see my grandma who lives through the forest near the brook. Oh, it's getting late. I have to go. Excuse me. Little Red Riding Hood rushed to her grandmother's house. The wolf, in the meantime, took a short cut. The wolf, a little out of breath from running, arrived at Grandma's and knocked lightly on the door. Oh, thank goodness, dear. Come in, come on. I was worried sick that something happened to you in the forest. The wolf let himself in. Poor Granny did not have time to say another word before the wolf gobbled her up. Oh, I am sleepy. I'll put on the nightgown and wait for that little girl. A few minutes later, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. The wolf jumped into bed and pulled the covers over his nose. Who is it? It's me, Little Red Riding Hood. Oh, how lovely. Do come in, dear. Grandma, you, your voice sounds so odd. Is something wrong? Oh, I have a cold. But grandmother, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. But grandmother, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. But grandmother, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with, my dear. Oh, the wolf roared and jumped out of bed and began to chase the little girl. She ran across the room and through the door, shouting, Help! Help! Somebody help me, please! A woodsman who was chopping logs nearby heard her cry and ran toward the cottage as fast as he could. He grabbed the wolf and made him spit out the poor grandmother. <laughs> oh, Grandma! I was so scared. I'll never speak to strangers or stop to play in the forest again. There, there, child. I've learned an important lesson. Thank goodness you shouted loud enough for the kind woodman to hear you. The woodman knocked out the wolf and carried him deep into the forest, where he wouldn't bother people any longer. Little Red Riding and her grandmother had a nice lunch and a long chat. The end.